I had recently come back to Sweden after living in Mexico for a long time, and I had met my dad again. We were in his car and going to his house. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm here uh, by my dad's house in Sweden. The sun just came out here, but uh, all of a sudden it starts snowing and then the sun comes out for a bit. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Yngve. This is my nice house and William is my son. Now I'm going to show you my house. Welcome here. This is my kitchen. Yeah, I love to cook and tonight we're going to make uh, uh, pasta with uh, so, so, so. <laughs> and this is the living room. Here is my wife. Hey, hey. It's mine. And where, where is the dog? Williams She's she's, she's <laughs> hiding behind the. Come tree. here. This is the place when she is afraid. She's in, down the television. Yeah. So here, here is very nice in the summer. We sit here. In the evening with some, some beer and some wine, it's very nice. <laughs> and down here, about 400 meters, we're going to the lake. My father lives by a really big lake in Sweden, and we were about to go down there with his dog. Where go we? Me vo ven. The winter time in Sweden is so cold, and that's the main reason why I haven't spent much time in Sweden in the recent years. The lake is really thick at this time of the year, and you can walk across if you want. Now we're out on the ice. <laughs> it's quite nice to walk around on the lake. It's really frozen, the whole lake is frozen. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> There is some beautiful scenery in Sweden and a lot of secluded small towns because of the low population. After a long walk we left my dad's dog at the house, got into the car again to head out. Yes, I'm going to swim a little bit and swim a little pool tricks. Yeah, a little pool tricks. And I'm old when I'm 71 years old. I'm going to see if I'm going to do a little pool tricks. The sun was gone and we were on our way into town to go swimming, but had first stopped at the grocery store. So we stopped here, it's a really small town, one little store here, and uh, Sweden is actually quite a big country. It takes about 12 hours um, to drive from the south to the north part of Sweden, and there are a lot of small villages everywhere, and 10 million people in Sweden. It's not as cold today as it has been the other days. My dad um, went into the store here to return a package and uh, then we're going to another city to go swimming also. Aha, du ska handla också. Ja, det där med nån sen ska jag köpa lite chips. Aha, we're going to buy some chips also. <laughs> chips and milk maybe. It's quite cheap actually to buy groceries in Sweden. Cheaper than Mexico, I think. <laughs> Actually, you wouldn't think that it, you would think that it's expensive in Sweden, but it's pretty cheap. 18.95 Swedish kronor. We carry some of best. We carry chips of best. I think we can. I usually shop nature chips. Uh huh. Do for tofu. And they also have free popcorn for all children here, so I might uh, take some popcorn because I am a child. <laughs> Gratis popcorn till alla barn. Vi 
stämmer det inte. Jag har bara haft den där. Men jag har haft tre år av den. Nu är vi här. We have arrived to another city here, Katrineholm, to go swimming. Here is the bathhouse. <laughs> nu är vi här. Nu ska vi se om vi kan köra lite tricks från Hot Wheels. Cool tricks. I finished one little pool trick here. Now we're gonna see if my dad can also do a trick. <laughs> There's also five meters here. Let's see if we can do some handstand on top there and fall over and dive in. Nu är det ungefär 15 år sedan dök. Är lite lite skakigt, but I think I can fix it. Var ju dyk i från vad var det 18? Ja. So now I'm going up to a five meters. I'm gonna do a handstand, fall over, and then into a dive. The whole tricks. Tricks are over now. We're gonna go swim. I think 40 laps. My dad, he comes here and swims 40 laps uh, a couple of times per week. I think. Uh, so that's really exciting. How many laps should we do now? I have to do 20 or 40. 20 or 40. 45 minutes later. So we're about to head out here from the place, and um, we just had a hamburger. It's actually not that expensive in Sweden. You get a meal, you pay like seven or so for a pretty good meal or a buffet it's like $15. The prices in Sweden are totally different depending on which cities you're in. We have arrived back to my dad's house now and uh, we're gonna see his dog here he's gonna come running and jumping. That's not the camera on there. Jag vet inte om det var en bra vinkel. Nu kommer hunden. Ja, ja men jag ska ta med skor. Vänta. Ja, vänta. Now we're inside here. During the winter time in Sweden, you don't do much besides lighting a fire to keep the house warm and also watch some TV and sometimes go ice skating and skiing. Det stod något annat här innan. It gets dark really early, and you can't see anything outside after 3 p.m. Now we're going for a walk again. It gets dark at 2.30 <laughs> in the afternoon here. In the northern part of Sweden, it's dark all day, all night. <laughs> in the very north part of Sweden. <laughs> we are in the middle part of Sweden now. Here he comes with the light. It's time to go for a walk with the dog again. He goes four times per day with his dog. Without the light, you wouldn't be able to see anything at all. <laughs> the next day. So it's the next day now and uh, we're going swimming again <laughs> to some other place. When the sun is out, it can be quite nice, but most days are cloudy. Now we were on the way again to go swimming. We're here now in another small town called Kungsör. We're gonna go swimming here. And it's rain or it's snowing a lot today. Too much snow. Here's the bathhouse or whatever you call it. In here is the bathhouse. <laughs> Now we're in here, we're gonna see if we can maybe jump from uh, up there, but uh, it might not be possible. <laughs> it's early in the morning here and uh, people are swimming back and forth and they have some candles here also.
Går det bra? Perfekt! Perfekt! So unfortunately, no tricks here today. They already told me that I can't be filming in here. So, sauna. We're going in the sauna. Another thing a lot of people do in Sweden during the winter time is sit in the sauna. It had been really nice to visit my dad. Now I was on my way back to my mother's house and my sister and her child and dog had arrived. We had some dinner and it was the first time I had seen my sister's child and also more than two years since I last saw my sister. Her child Saga, almost one year old, seemed to be really nice and calm. And also her dog Harry was one of the friendliest dogs I'd ever met. Oh, I'm going to cast on him. Han var där. Hur mår du? Bra. So, uh, my sister has arrived to my mom's house here now and um, we're gonna go and visit my uncle. It's been a long time since I saw my uncle. My uncle is, um, I think he's 76 years old or something. And uh, my sister came from the south part of Sweden where she lives. It's about a five hour uh, car ride from here. And my mom is also coming with us and the dog. Ska ha hunden också bälte? Ja. Ja. Skjuter på gasen. På gasen på. Gasen på. Hallå! Hej. Ni kompisar, ja. Ni är bra kompisar. My uncle has an old picture of my grandfather when he was young. He passed away 15 years ago and it's scary to realize how quickly time goes by. <laughs> Two days later. My mother and I were going for a trip and a five hour drive to the south part of Sweden. The climate in the south part of Sweden is much better since it's closer to the equator. We've been driving for a few hours. We're on our way to my grandmother. She's turning 94 years old. And uh, I recently came back to Sweden after traveling for a couple of years. Uh, so it would be really nice to see my grandmother again also. And uh, we're on our way down to the very south part of Sweden. About a five hour drive from uh, where I, we came from. We were going along the second biggest lake in Sweden and had almost made it to the south part. Sweden is primarily surrounded by the Baltic Sea and the North Sea, but in the west connected to the country of Norway. Also close to Sweden you have Denmark, Germany and Poland. Finally we had arrived to my grandmother's house after a long day of driving. Hey hey. Ja. Jaha. Hur är det med dig då? Det gläder mig att ni är här. Det tycker jag det är det precis lik. Ja. Och det ska det ju vara, det är fast ett dag sedan jag såg mig. Ja. Mm. Men nu är det väl... Ja, det är på säsongen. Ja, de kommer väl inte hålla sig så. Du är, ser verkar frisk. Jag ser jag. Ja. <laughs> My grandmother is really healthy and she can do everything on her own, despite being almost 94 years old. We had some typical Swedish food and talked for a bit before I headed up to go to sleep on the top floor. So this is where I will be staying and um, we were sitting down there for a while speaking about a bunch of different things and it made me think of uh, when you travel you always miss birthdays and holidays and um, yeah, the people that are close to you 
and I have missed that in the past so many years actually. I had been living in other countries since 2009 and most of the time not been in Sweden for birthdays and holidays. They say we should always be there for people who matter in life, but in this world we tend to move away and not spend a whole lot of time with family, except for our childhood. It's the next day here and we're gonna be going to the grocery store to get some food for tomorrow because tomorrow is my grandmother's birthday and my sister is also coming. No, I'm taxing comment. Det är under som man ska äta ner. This is the only grocery store in the city of Lundsboda. Uh, I think only 1000 or 2000 people live here. Har det fras. Now we've been in here for some time shopping. Bought some cheese and coffee. That's what Swedish people eat a lot, I feel like. Cheese, coffee and fika. We had some food for the next day. Watched some TV. And then it was time to sleep again. So it's the next day here and um, my uncle is here and my sister and her husband are on the way and they are coming with their daughter and um, their dog. <laughs> so we're gonna see how that goes. Some people don't want to have the dog here because sometimes he gets really excited and he runs around and uh, <laughs> jumps up on people so um, we're gonna see how that goes. My sister and her husband. I think my grandmother was a bit afraid of the dog at first. We had some boiled potatoes and salmon. Harry's favorite, but he still stayed calm, even though I gave him some when nobody could see. <laughs> my sister's child, Saga, is 93 years younger than my grandmother. Life goes by really quickly, and time is the most valuable thing we have. Once it's gone, it's gone forever. Mm. So long as you're a there. So, I'm going to The party was over, and we were about to go for a walk with my grandmother in the neighborhood. <laughs> So we're going for a walk today. It's the first time I'm seeing the sun for a long time. I almost forgot that there is a sun in Sweden. <laughs> but I'm so excited to go out in the sun and uh, I think I will be going to Tanzania soon. So we've been here now at my grandmother's place for a bit and um, she turned 94 years old yesterday. Today we went for a walk and uh, we're gonna be going to my sister's 
um, house. She also lives here in the south part of Sweden in a county called Skåne. Skåne. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really close to Denmark. You can take a ferry over to Denmark. 20 minutes and you're in Denmark. But uh, yeah, I'll just pack my bag. And we're about to head out. Hey, go though. Hi, do Yeah. Hey, though. Now we're on the way to my sister's house. A two hour drive from where my grandmother lives here in the south part of Sweden. We had arrived on time for my sister and her husband's child's first birthday. <laughs> I had seen every single relative I have in Sweden and also gone to the gym a few times but was almost getting ready to leave the country again and start my travels. So I've been going for a good hour probably, non-stop, just no rest. I just usually go from one exercise to the next. So I'm also really out of breath. I also get conditioning when I do weights because I never rest. I just did some abs also and my dad has been on the bike for one hour. We're gonna see how he's doing now. He's doing some skiing here. Thanks for watching. I will be going to Africa soon, but first a trip up to the northern part of Sweden and all the mountains. And also if you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up and post a comment to let me know what you think. See you next time.